So consider these four sets of quiz scores from four different sections of a class. Uh, a quick calculation will discover that the mean and the median of each of these data sets is 5. And yet, looking at them, you can tell that they're quite different. And so for this, we're going to need to talk about not measures of center. In this case, they all have the same measures of center. Uh, but instead, we're going to need to talk about how spread out or how varied the data is. And so we're going to talk about a range of measures, the first of which is called the range. And the range simply measures the difference between the biggest value and the smallest value. So it tells you how, how much the data ranges uh, over, the, yeah, over the entire set of data. So here, my largest value is 5, my smallest value is 5, which means this data has a range of 0. And that's really important because that tells me that the data is all the same. This data has a range of, has a range of 10, right? It ranges from 0 to 10. And so that means it is quite spread out, uh, in, in, from its smallest value to its largest value. Let's see here, this data ranges from 4 to 6, and so the range here is 2. And this seems to be capturing pretty well how spread out the data is, uh, until we look at this last set where, the range is also 10. Uh, but if we look at this data set and this data set, we can see that they're quite different. Um, you know, this set, half the class failed and half the class got perfect, whereas in this class, you know, we had one failure, one perfect score, and a lot of people right in the middle. Uh, and so, uh, it be, while the range is a useful measure of center, uh, we would eventually like to have uh, a different measure or a more more uh, specified measure that looks a little deeper than just the range of values.